It is that time of year when parents may be considering that first smartphone as a holiday gift, but now new research suggests owning smartphones at a younger age could increase the risk of some health issues. Well, let's hear more about the new study with health reporter Stephanie Stahl. That's right. It was released today, guys. You know, this research comes from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and it adds to mounting evidence that smartphones can be dangerous for children, especially if they're under the age of 12. The La Chapelle family loves spending time outside. We encourage outdoor play and independent play as much as possible. Mom Elise has signed the Wait Until 8th Pledge, a promise not to give her children smartphones until at least the end of 8th grade. It was very important to me to delay smartphones and delay social media um, because I think it's very easy to see the effect that they have on kids, the effect they have on their attention spans and their social skills and their overall mental health. New research published in the journal Pediatrics suggests having a smartphone before age 12 could increase some health risks. Compared to kids who do not have a smartphone at age 12 or by age 12, those who did have a smartphone had overall worse health outcomes. They had more chances of having depression, obesity, and insufficient sleep. Dr. Rand Barzilai at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia co-authored the study, looking at data from more than 10,500 children. While the research did not look at why, he says there could be several potential mechanisms. More time on smartphone may be related to less time during, for example, physical activity, something that can protect both from obesity and is also good for one's mental health. He adds, for teens, smartphones can play a role in social connections, learning, and safety providing a child's location for parents. Balancing the positive and negative is key. We limit iPad usage to 20 minutes a day. There's no YouTube. There's no social gaming of any kind. Elise hopes more families will get on board and that delaying smartphones will become the new norm. And the idea behind parents signing the wait until eighth pledge is about power in numbers. There is less pressure on kids and parents if students, if most students, don't have a smartphone until high school. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia.